Maasim Acts 21. And it came to pass that after we were gotten from them and had launched, we came with a straight course unto Kus, and the day following unto Rhodes, and from thence unto Patara. And finding a ship sailing over unto Phoenicia, we went aboard and set forth. Now when we had discovered Cyprus, we left it on the left hand, and sailed into Aram, and landed at Sor. For there the ship was unable, rather was unlaid her burden. And finding Athlith al we tarried there seven days, who said to Paul through the Ruach, that he should not go up to Yerushalayim. And when he had accomplished those days, we departed and went our way, and they all brought us on our way with women and children till we were out of the city, and we kneeled down on the shore and prayed. And when we had taken our leave one of another, we took ship, and they returned home again. And when we had finished our course from Sor, we came to Akko and saluted the brethren and abode with them one day. And the next day we that were of Paal's company departed and came unto Kekaria. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist, which was one of the seven, and abode with him. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Yaud a certain prophet named Chagav, and when he was come unto us, he took Paul's belt and bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus says the Ruach HaKadosh, So shall the Yaudim at Yerushalayim bind the man that owns this belt and shall deliver him into the hands of the other nations. And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Yerushalayim. Then Paul answered, what mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Yerushalayim for the name of Adonai, Yahusha, HaMashiach. And when he would not be persuaded, we ceased, saying, The will of Yahuwah be done. And after those days we took up our carriages and went up to Yerushalayim. There went with us also certain of the Talmudim of Kekaria, and brought with them one Manasan, rather, one Manasan of Cyprus, an old Talmudi, with whom we should lodge. And when we were come to Yerushalayim, the brethren received us gladly, and the day following, Paul went in with us unto Yaakov, and all the elders were present. And when he had saluted them, he declared particularly eth what things Yahuwah had wrought among the other nations by his ministry. And when they heard it, they glorified Yah and said unto him, You see, brother, how many thousands of Yahudim there are which believe, and they are all zealous of the Torah. And they are informed of you, that you teach all the Yaudim which are among the other nations to forsake, rather, to forsake Moshe, saying that they ought not to circumcise their children, neither to walk after the customs. What is it, therefore? The multitude must needs come together, for they will hear that you are come. Do therefore this that we may that we say to you, we have four men which have a vow on them. Them take and purify yourself with them, and be at charges with them, that they may shave their heads, and all may know that those things whereof they were informed concerning you are nothing, but that you yourself also walk orderly and guard the Torah. As touching the other nations which believe, we have written and concluded that they observe no such thing, save only that they guard themselves from things offered to blood, rather idols, and from blood, and from strangled, and 
from fornication. Then Paal took the men, and the next day, purifying himself with them, entered into the temple to signify the accomplishment of the days of purification, until that an offering should be offered for every one of them. And when the seven days were almost ended, the Yaudim, which were of Asia, when they saw him in the temple, stirred up all the people and laid hands on him, crying out, Men of Yashara'el, help! This is the man that teaches all men everywhere against the people, and the Torah, and this place, and further brought Yavanim also into the temple, and has polluted this holy place. For they had seen before with him in the city Trophimus and Ephesi, whom they supposed that Paul had brought into the temple. And all the city was moved, and the people ran together. And they took Paal and drew him out of the temple, and forthwith the doors were shut. And as they went about to kill him, tidings came unto the chief captain of the, brand, of the band that all Yerushalayim was in an uproar, who immediately took soldiers and centurions and ran down unto them. And when they saw the chief captain and the soldiers, they left beating of Paal. Then the chief captain came near and took him and commanded him to be bound with two chains and demanded who he was and what he had done. And some cried one thing, some another, among the multitude. And when he could not know the certainty for the tumult, he commanded him to be carried into the castle. And when he came upon the stairs, so it was, that he was born of the soldiers for the violence of the people. For the multitude of the people followed after, crying, Away with him! And as Paal was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto you? Who said, Can you speak, Yavani? Are not you that Mitzri, which before these days made an uproar, and led out into the wilderness four thousand men that were murderers? But Paal said, I am a man which am a, rather, which am a Yaudi of Tarsus, a city in Cilicia, a citizen of no mean city, and I beseech you, suffer me to speak unto the people. And when he had given him license, Paal stood on the stairs, and beckoned with the hand unto the people. And when there was made a great silence, he spoke unto them in the Ivrit tongue, saying, 